Hi there folks and welcome back to Airgun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. You know, ever since my adventure into air guns began, I've been fascinated with powerful brake barrel air rifles. Rifles like the RWS 350 Magnum, the UK Webley Patriot, just to name a couple of them. I love these air rifles because they pose the greatest challenge to shoot accurately and consistently. I have one of the Goliaths of powerful brake barrel air rifles here today for our show the Beeman RX2. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's go over some specs and features of the Beeman RX2. First and foremost, this is the new 25 caliber version of this rifle. It's over 45 inches long, almost 10 pounds. This is an adult sized air rifle. Not to mention that it takes almost 50 pounds of cocking effort to break this barrel open. You're not going to be shooting this thing all day long at paper targets. This is a hunting air rifle, so you better eat your Wheaties if you're going to be cocking this thing open all day long. Also, the fit and finish is beautiful, as you can expect from Beeman air rifles. We have a laminated stock, which is nice and smooth. Also has some checkering on the grip here. Unlike most brake barrel air rifles, the Beeman RX2 does not have a conventional metal spring. Instead, inside the compression tube, it has a gas spring or a gas piston or a gas ram, whatever you want to call it. The one inside this model is manufactured by the Theban company in the United Kingdom. One of the advantages of a gas spring over a metal spring is that it will not take a set if you leave it cocked for hours. I don't recommend keeping a rifle like this cocked because that means it could be loaded and dangerous unless you're in the field and have it pointed in a safe direction waiting for your quarry to come by. In that case, leave it cocked for hours. Uh, metal springs uh, will lose velocity if you keep it cocked accidentally, say for a month or so, come back to it, you're going to find that you've lost some velocity in your shots. Also. Gas rams are not temperature uh, fussy, which means you can use these things all winter long and not worry about uh, anything getting a little gunked up in there because of the cold. Let's uh, do some crony testing and see how the 25 caliber RX2 performs. Before we get into the crony testing, let me show you a little bit about the scope setup we have here on the RX2. When we got the rifle into the studio, we noticed that it did have some barrel droop and we ran out of elevation on every scope we tried on it. So what we did is take a UTG drooper mount and modify it. We file down this little cup area in here until it fit perfectly on the compression tube of the RX2. This also allowed us to use weaver rings on it for a real solid lockdown. You're gonna wanna tighten this scope as much as you can before destroying it because this rifle kicks like a mule. So tighten those scope rings and mounts down real good on this rifle. The crew and I shot over 200 rounds out of the Beeman RX2 last night, looking for just the right pellet. And finally, we stopped on the H&N hollow points. This one gave us our best group. Your mileage may vary. These guns are difficult to shoot well, and you might have better luck with other pellets. Boy, that is tough to cock. These pellets also fit nice and tight in the breech here. Now, this is a pretty loud air rifle indoors, so I'm gonna put on some hearing protection. There we go. All right. Well, using H&N hollow point pellets, 26.23 grain, we got an average of 648 feet per second, an extreme spread of 17 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 5.74 feet per second. Very good consistency from shot to shot. Now our average gave us 24 foot pounds of energy. Since the Beeman RX2 is a mighty hunting brake barrel air rifle, I thought we'd take it outdoors on this beautiful autumn day and try to knock down these metal silhouette targets. I have these three resettable dinosaur targets here. I'm gonna try to shoot it from 40 yards away. These are real small and pose a good challenge to shoot, especially off of sticks. So I'll try to go for the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, all in a row. Let's see how I do. Well, okay, we're about 40 yards downrange and to knock those dinosaurs down, I'm gonna use shooting sticks.
And there we go. Plant those in the ground. About there. All right, we're ready to go. Take my first shot. I'm gonna try to get these guys all in a row. It's a challenging shot. Haven't had much trigger time with the uh, Beeman RX2, but uh, I'm pretty confident that with the sticks, I'll be able to get this shot. And there we go, three for three. According to the manufacturer's specs, the Beeman RX2 has a two pound trigger pull from the factory, but we'll test that out. We'll also test out the automatic safety mechanism. Okay, I'll go ahead and cock the rifle. And I'll bring it around here to show you just how it works. Here is the automatic safety button right here. You press that in. It's now off safe, ready to fire. If you want to put it back on safe, you just press that lever right there. I'll turn it around this way and show you once again. That's nice. This is how an automatic safety should work. It's located in the right place. It's easy to get to. And I feel confident that if I can't take my shot, all I have to do is press that lever, I'm back on safe. Well, it looks like the trigger pull weight is right there where the manufacturer said it would be. Our average, one pound, 14.9 ounces. Now that's just about where I like the weight of my brake barrel air rifles to be, around two pounds. I have to say this trigger does help a lot with the accuracy. This is not an easy gun to shoot. It's gonna take a lot of practice for you to get groups down range that you can be proud of. Also finding the right pellet it's gonna be a little bit tricky. This is pellet fussy. Again, you can look online, find out what other people are using for their RX2, and start from there. Let's go ahead and do the sound testing and wrap up the show. We'll be doing our decibel testing outdoors today because in the air lodge, it is fairly loud. It's a small enclosed space. And also, most of you will be shooting this air rifle outdoors, so it'll give you a better idea of how loud it is. It's definitely on the high end of loudness, especially indoors and outdoors, depending on where you're standing. For the shooter, it's not so loud. If you are standing maybe 20 yards away, it does sound fairly loud. Let's go ahead and take our first shot. According to our decibel meter, we got 102 decibels as the loudest we could reach. And that's a little bit surprising. I thought it would be louder than that. In my opinion, that puts the RX2 in the medium to high loudness category. I have to say it's been a real pleasure testing out the Beeman RX2 today. It's a beautifully made, powerful, accurate brake barrel air rifle that has the advantage of a gas spring. I have to say though, like all brake barrel air rifles, especially the more powerful ones, it is pellet fussy. You're gonna have to go through a lot of pellets till you find uh, the one that is perfect for your RX2. Also, it's hold sensitive. It's gonna take some practice to shoot accurately downrange. But overall, it's well made, and if powerful German brake barrels are on your short list, look no further than the Beeman RX2. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. And I'm not joking about the cocking effort. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.